I also want to stress something, even though, no, you know, Travel and Joe were both repeatedly telling me that no, the landlord has to give you 30 days, blah, blah, whatever, but I was pushing Bobby, you know what I mean, I did not want to not pay rent and just to stay there and, you know what I mean, I'm not like that. Okay? But I sure as fuck didn't want to be treated the way that landlord treated me. Um, you know what I mean? Not even wanting to give me to the end of the month. But then all hell broke loose. He found out about YouTube. But remember, even before he knew about YouTube, when Bobby just, we wanted to the end of the month, which was normal, I mean the end of June, and pay the rent and everything. And I told you about that. Can you make it sooner? You know, it's just to have a roommate. I could throw out whenever I wanted to. But there can't be a lease because the police came back in the night that, you know, the landlord did the phony, phony 911 call on me. And the, one of the policemen came back in and said, there's no lease. So if there's no lease, I mean, how can that rigmarole, the constable letter, like the terms of the previous lease apply? It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It is just such bullshit. Just like the thing with Mary, it is such bullshit, you know. I wasn't trying to get away with anything. All that I wanted is what I never imagined. I never imagined you can live somewhere and, you know, I consider that my home. People get roommates all the time. It wasn't subsidized housing. The guy got $1,600 a month. And the cop fucking with my head. You think you're dealing with an idiot here? Well, how do you and Joe like yeah? How do you know? He, what, what, how do you know he put your money towards the rent? Mmm, idiot. Well, if I hand him six hundred dollars and he puts it in a bucket, and then he writes a check for sixteen for if I hand him six hundred dollars, he puts it in a bucket, and then he writes a check to the land. It's no different. That's just fucking, you're just an idiot. Because you know what you're saying is stupid. And, you know, just like Marion saying she cleaned the refrigerator. And if I see smeared mayonnaise and all kinds of crap in my mama to throw away a whole bunch of food, you didn't clean the refrigerator. You half ass cleaned it, probably. You know, it's, you know. And since I didn't, I didn't, Mary can say anything. She can, she can tell my mom she cleaned it, but my mom can see that it's not clean. And then Mary will say, my, and Mary and Sin right there, well, it was worse. Mmm. I know exactly what it looked like when I left, so I would like to see to the degree what you cleaned it, Marion. You can say anything. Like I said, you can say the moon's made of purple and green cheese. But no, I wasn't trying to get away with anything. I was trying to just, just wanted to have ample time to find a new place to live. You think I'd want the you think I wanted the world? And I'm starting really starting to think the universe. And I'm not trying to be melodramatic here. Well, the people who accuse me of that, the universe wants me dead or to go mad or something. I really believe that. All this weird fucking shit keeps entering my reality. It's just oh. <sighs> I don't know. I know it happens all the time, though, where people, they, it's, I even was looking it up. And the police are like, you know a lot about this. You haven't done this before. No, I've never done it. I looked right at him. I go, no, I started studying it when I, all this shit went down with me. Landlord doesn't even want to give me ample time to find a new place to live. Landlord's acting like I'm not living there, you know, I don't know. Online lawyers say one says one thing, one says another. They they were conflicted. They didn't give me consistent information. But in the end, the majority said, no, the landlord has to treat you like a tenant. has to give you ample time to find a place to live. You can't just throw it in the street. Yeah, tell that to him, his lawyer, and the cops. 